Hey, what's up? I'm Rachel Starr, Schizophrenic, and this is Schizophrenia Managing Techniques, The Basics. Number one thing, track your symptoms. Track your hallucinations, your delusions, your depression, anything that's kind of affecting you, start tracking it. That way, you can kind of start to see some different trends and maybe know when things are about to happen, all right? So, a really good way to do that is with to see in the dark. A hallucination and delusion, delusion journal that I actually made. Number two, get plenty of rest. Obviously sleep can help your schizophrenia. It gives you time for your mind to kind of reset. But I don't just mean sleep. Rest, you know, away from different stressors in your life, whether it's work, you know, different things you have going on, even family. You know, if helping you rest is playing some video games and just like zoning out, reading a book. Do something though that can help you kind of unhook. Number three, exercise. I don't care if it's just walking from, you know, your house to your mailbox and back, okay? Get out there and get your blood flowing, get your body moving, all right? If it's just like do a few push-ups beside your bed, fine, that's something, okay? For me, I love fighting, so I force myself, no matter what condition I'm in, <laughs> to go to my fighting class every Tuesday night. And number four, socialize. Even if it's just going out and running errands, get out and get around people. We as schizophrenics, we tend to isolate ourselves off, and that's not good. You need to get out there, be around people interacting, okay? Um, have a family member check in, a friend, you know, say, hey, can we go out and get lunch or something? You don't have to, like, tell them all about what's going on, but you do need to get out there and make sure you're still connecting with people. I'm Rachel Starr, so those are pretty much just some... <laughs> some basics of managing techniques um, in the other videos. I will go in more deeper on specifics. 